Hi, it's the Crafty Co with another crochet tutorial. Have you got a blanket that you love to bits but it has major damage to it? We have a repairing rose tutorial on our YouTube channel, but this one covers taking a whole section out of the centre to replace it. Here's what you'll need. A crochet hook suitable for the thickness of your wool. You may also need a smaller hook to pick up the stitches. Safety pins. If you are repairing a large area, you will need lots of these, but stitch markers work great too. Wool, to replace the piece you are removing. A large eye darning needle to sew in the ends. And finally, a pair of scissors. We are going to remove the centre red square, but first we need to secure the yellow row next to it so it doesn't come undone. It may be that the centre has been damaged beyond repair, or this section has become matted if a different type of wool has been used, or has shrunk in the wash. First we need to secure the stitches in this yellow row, making sure we keep the two corner stitches together. In each stitch around this row, we will attach a safety pin so they keep together as we work in the new square. Thread the pin through the bottom of the stitches, making sure you pick all of the loops up. Try not to catch the wool on the part that you are removing. For the corners, you will pick up two sets of stitches, all on one safety pin. Once you have secured all the stitches with pins or stitch markers, you are ready to remove the inner section. Carefully ease the sections away from the secure stitches and using your scissors, cut the inner square all around its outer row. If you cut either side of the pins, it will be easier to remove the inner section it's an idea to make a note of how many rounds this inner square has in case you damage it too much when removing. You'll need to know this so that you can reproduce it exactly so that it has the right number of spaces when inserting one back in. We are now ready to make a new inner square for our blanket. Luckily, with the old section, I am able to count my rows and you can see that there were three rounds. I only need to work two rounds initially in this new square as the third round will be completed as I attach it back into the blanket. Here's the new section. I have worked two rounds and the first half of the corner. For my corners I normally work a two chain. You may do more 
So chain the number you would normally do and we can begin to attach it to the blanket. It is important that you attach like for like stitches, so corners to corners and side to side stitches. You will find it easier if you start in the corner and work round. The first thing we need to do is pick up a corner stitch. To do this, insert your hook from left to right, making sure you pick up all the loops from the stitches. You may find it easier to use a smaller hook, however the ends are tiny and the loop sometimes pops off when threading back through. The larger hook will grab the yarn better, but this is a personal choice, so use the one that works best for you. Remove the safety pin and insert the hook into the loop of the new section. Carefully pull the hoop back through the loops. You may need to tease and wiggle them. I've just noticed that I didn't catch one of the loops. It's not a problem. We just remove the safety pin and pick up all of the stitches, trying to be as gentle as possible so as not to disturb them too much. As we are working on a corner stitch, we need to pull the second half of the stitches through. To get a professional finish, I have a neat little tip. It does however mean that you have to guesstimate how much wool you will need to complete the repair. You can see that your wool is to the right of the stitch, so if we work our next stitch we will see a loop behind our blanket. We need the wool to the left so we can crochet as we normally would in a round. Pull the new stitch through the loops so that you can grab the strand of new wool and gently tease it through. This will only work if you have a continuous piece of wool and not one that is wound in a ball as you need to pull it all through. For the corners you will need to pull it through both sets of stitches. Making sure you secure your loop, pull through the remainder of the wool. If your repair section is too large to do this but you want to get this seamless finish you could always join your wool in a couple of places in the round. Once you have pulled it all through, rearrange the stitches back to where they should be. Your wool is now on the correct side and to complete this corner, work the second half of the stitches into the same corner space of your new section. You can see that we have recreated the stitches to look as they would if we had crocheted the blanket from scratch. The side stitches are a little easier as we only need to pick up one set. Once you have picked up the loops from left to right, insert your hook back into the new loop and pull through just like you did with the corner. To get the strand to the left of your stitch, you will need to wiggle the stitches through the loop and grab the tail yarn. This is sometimes fiddly and you may need a little help from your hook. Just make sure you keep hold and secure your current loop first.
work the next stitch into the next space. Continue around the round using the corner method for the corners and the side stitch method for the sides. We have now completed all our stitches for this round and all that is left to do is to close it. This is done by working a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch worked. In this instance it was a three chain so I will slip stitch into that third chain, cut my wool and pull through. To complete your blanket, just sew any ends in, then sit back and admire your handiwork. Thanks for watching and I hope this has helped and I'll be back soon with another handy tip.